Why is it so hard to drum roll? So what is this, you may ask, kind stranger who stumbled across this video? You, me, video. Every Tuesday, Friday. I do Tuesdays, you do Wednesdays. <laughs> I do Tuesdays, you do Fridays. Only two rules are, one, less than four minutes, two, you cannot miss a day. It can be about any topic, but if you miss a day, punishment. Anyways, with the logistics out of the way, what I actually wanted to talk to you, I guess, y'all, it feels weird addressing audience. That gives me like two, maybe three minutes to talk about what I actually wanted to talk about, which was public and private lives, which is fitting considering I'm like writing half of a blog post on this. Okay, it's, it's, it's half of a blog post now, but hopefully it'll be a full one soon. Anyways, you told me today that sometimes on camera I am more formal than I am in person or when I am in like a casual call, which is very unlike myself. And that's got me thinking, I was like, why do people behave differently in different environments? In his Vlog Brothers video from March, John talks about this metaphor called frame in which people behave or frame themselves. And as, not personally as a content creator, but if you are someone who creates content, you get to choose how you frame yourself on the internet. You curate how you want to present yourself. There's a truly poignant section where John stops his regular jump cutty heavy style editing and then chooses to focus specifically on how without editing there's a lot of spe speech peculiarities that come through in the video and he uses this to emphasize the fact that yes content creators do edit their content in such a way that people are less aware of what's going on outside of the frame they only choose to see what the content creator puts inside the frame and chooses to frame as, as themselves. We have these set identities that we've become used to portraying in certain situations and it becomes almost weird when those expectations are broken or subverted. It's also got me thinking in particular what kind of like false social expectations I've created for myself. I've talked to you about this before but I think this, this label of introversion that I have. I've always been more of like a to myself kind of person. Um, like if I am in a public space and we are both in this public space, you do not talk to me, I will not talk to you. I'd much rather enjoy the company of a few close friends than live out my life at some like big party somewhere. But, but, but I do enjoy talking to people. I think I used to have this like preconceived notion that because I fell under this introvert label, I was expected to kind of keep quiet or keep more to myself in social situations, or I couldn't enjoy talking to other people. I set myself like a mini goal at the start of the year to meet 50 new people by the end of this year, and it spurred a lot of really interesting conversations that I don't think I would have had if it wasn't for that goal. Not only have I gotten the chance to talk to some really incredible people, it's been fun. Like. I thought my little introvert self couldn't enjoy talking to people, but just like surrounding myself with incredibly talented, kind, and just like overall amazing people, like it's truly something else. I think all I wanted to, to, to I guess, like say in this video is we should also think about whether the way we frame ourselves affects only this outward frame that we put out, or if it actually affects ourselves and our true personalities as well. Anyways. See you on Friday.